welcome to Grow Family Network and today we're excited because we're going to start picking up our squash. This is uh, our squash that come from uh, the Philippines which uh, I'll bring it back when uh, I came back to the United States. So here we go is the, it, this is still young. As you can see this one is a young one. Um, once they uh, like they mature enough, they gonna turn to colors like it's gonna turn yellow, and you are gonna see uh, that it is mature. But this now, right now, it is still young. But uh, as we walking around in our uh, like uh, squash uh, path, this is the only one that's got like it's it's really got big. Yeah, uh, the because, biggest one. Yeah, the biggest one because I think the rest. Has uh, stopped growing because they was um, I think it's like the, the vine borer. Yeah, the vine borer got them on the in the middle. I think that one is the only one that doesn't they doesn't really get the the vine borer doesn't uh, got it. So now I had a few that I had to uh, to pick. So this is the mature like the mature one that I had to pick, and then as you can see the thing is already the bomb borer got this side already as you can see yeah. so, so that's why it stopped growing yep and if the bomb bar didn't get it it should be bigger than be it's gonna be bigger than this but it's all fine yeah it's got all ants good. on it too don't let the ants get you <laughs> it's got two yeah. so here so it's been raining like crazy so the ants are on or under all of them so that's you can so just put that one down and we'll go on to the next so one. That's the, the first one, and I had a few more things somewhere over here. And one is in the middle. No, I got the other one that's in the middle already, but it's somewhere over here. I think it's this small one, because this one, the bottom board got it too. Like, as you can see, the yeah. thing already dried up. So we can take that one too. And as you can see, I like. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I like to make a uh, squash pancake, which I use the butternut squash, but you can make, uh, you can use any kind of squash to make your butternut, I mean your pancake. So that's two. And I got some more on the side. So, so they were going good. And then the vine borer kind of got to them. You can see how the little yellowing patches are. And then we just left them. And like I say, they kind of reroot themselves, and so they're still growing. So I didn't really try to fight the vine borer on this patch. I just let them. I maybe them took out like two or three, but the rest of them I was like, man, forget it. I'm just gonna see what it does. I'm not fighting them. And so when I stopped fighting them, it actually just kept growing. And you can tell the ones where the vine borer got, like Bells was saying, um, they just start turning yellow. Like they start to ripen even when they're not at a good size that's how you can kind of tell the vine borer has gotten to that particular vine but the vines that it hasn't gotten to uh those are steady growing and staying green so. yes and it is good to if you all ever had um like potato i think it's like a potato soup this squash soup is a good thing too because all you have to do is mush it and whatever put ever whatever seasoning you want it and it's yeah. gonna be a good soup. and we'll show them in a video she'll do a cooking video on these sometimes later this week or next week what's the other one that i see the other day that's all good that we gotta what's have going on mister all right so as always the bees stay in the country year round looks like i know i'm just coming show the people all right so she's looking for the last one the raccoons probably got it. And he always say that before we got it, maybe the raccoon already will come and uh, eat it before we can even do a video. But I said, he said, nope, no, no, no. We have been getting a lot of rain the last couple of days that has uh, seemingly, you know, hasn't affected us too bad, but you just never know. So we haven't had any splitting. But she did have one more somewhere. I think it's this way though. That you can't find. That's the only thing I don't like about not having 
black paper down everywhere we would have been able to see it but with the black paper they wouldn't have been able to reroute into the ground so it's just like how we uh we was looking for watermelons before like in this patch safety yeah it's over there Somewhere. can't see it so i guess we'll let it go we'll go look at the ones we got yep and maybe we'll see those another time the one we're looking for So far they've been productive, probably got, how many you've got, about five, I mean about four or five or I what? got four right now, but uh, the one that's still growing, we had that one and they got some more like some over here. They had two over here. That's still producing, like it's still But good. I can see they're kind of turning, if you look at the other one you can see these kind of turning. Could be from the vine board, could be from just the rain that's been. Yeah. Uh, a little overzealous this last two weeks. Because uh, uh, the way that they do this in the Philippines, yeah, like... We got uh, one more up in there. My daddy uh, put trellis on his when uh, he had his own uh, squash. When he, when, before he gave me the seeds, he, uh, I see he has like it growing all the way to the top of a tree. And they just hanging. They every time that they oh trying to harvest something, they will just climb or they get some oh, stick. So let them grow up a tree yes. and then climb the tree to get them. Hmm. Yeah. So, right. so the rats won't get it. The any kind of animal that they had over because sometimes the chickens if you're living in a tropical you know if you yeah. had chickens because they let chickens all over the place and uh in so my country. So when they're ripe, the chickens will start eating them. Yeah, even though they babies, they like. You know, they like peck, the peck, old peck. pecking. So, I'm happy because I still get like three. Even though like this, this one is mature enough. And the other day we ate one because we had to try one to see if they are really mature. The uh, When they turn yellow and it is, it was tasty. It was good. Ooh. And this is, I think this is good for the babies too, like. If you really like, even you have a baby that's like six months, seven months, or whatever, like, or so on, you just get a boil the squash and let it uh, feed it to them. I think uh, squash has got a lot of nutrients, especially mm. for babies. Mm. And yep. it's easy to put in a blender. So yeah. Um, and that's it for us. Next video is probably gonna be the cooking video of maybe if not this squash, when when we get another one to ripen up and we get some time to go inside and do a video, we'll probably do a cooking video on this squash. So yep. thank y'all for watching the Grow Family Network. And and as always, grow, 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 grow. Keep growing. Peace. Peace.